Now, what I would call a really swinging human being is a person who lives on two levels at once. He's able to live on the level of being his ordinary ego, his everyday personality, and play his role in life and to observe all the rules and so on that go with that. But if he's only on that level, if he's only playing that kind of thing and thinks that's all there is, it becomes a drag. And he starts being the kind of person who feels that he's just got to go on surviving. See? It's terribly important to go on surviving, to live. And uh, he works at that. And his uh, children learn the same attitude from him. And they, you know, he says, well, I, I've got to survive because I've got all these children I've got to support and so on and so forth. And then they take the same attitude and they breed up children and they <coughs> feel compulsive about supporting them because they've got to go on. And so nobody really has any fun. <coughs> it's just, <coughs> we've got to make this thing, you see. And you don't have to. See, whenever I get somebody who comes to me and says, I really can't go on and I have to commit suicide, I say, well, that's entirely, uh, you're, you're right. There's really no reason why you should go on and if you want to commit suicide, do it. You can check out. Of course, this <coughs> reduces anxiety when they feel free to commit suicide. They don't really have to commit suicide so, so much. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you, 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 you can commit partial suicide. <laughs> so, uh, the sense that you just have to go on living, see, that life is a must. When you say to anything spontaneous, see, life is spontaneous. It happens in the words of the Taoists, Zeran, which means of itself so. That's their Chinese expression for nature. What happens by itself. What isn't pushed, but it just pops up, you see? Like, um, gee, I'll never forget, there was a great Zen master I knew once in New York. He was giving a lecture one evening, and he was dressed in his gold ceremonial robes, and he was sitting in front of an altar, like this sort of thing, and, but he had a table in front of him with very formal and with candles on it and a sutra scripture on a little desk and he was lecturing on the sutra and he said um, fundamental principle in Buddhism is no purpose purposelessness when you drop fart you don't say at nine o'clock I drop fart <laughs> It uh, happened of itself. <laughs> you know, and all, all these <laughs> pious <laughs> Western devotees, you know, kind of put their handkerchiefs in their mouths and tried not to laugh. You know? <laughs> so, but that's the meaning of something that happens of itself, like drop, drop fart or have hiccups or uh, um, just to, you, you came into being, you know. It happens in a kind of a plop way like that, see? Now, you can't tell that process, you ought to happen, you must happen, because that puts a bind on it in the same way as when you have a little child and all the relatives have come to a party on Thanksgiving and you put the child into the middle of all the relatives and say, now dear, play. See, it absolutely bugs the child to do it like that. And so this is the problem for every artist because an artist is a man who makes his living by playing, whether he's dancing or painting or playing music or whatever it is, and he has to overcome this problem. He has to know how to play in public at a given time on an appointment. See? Now that's not an easy thing to learn, but when you catch on to the trick of it, you can do it play on demand. That's the hardest lesson of life, to contrive what is called by my Japanese artist friend Saburo Hasegawa, a controlled accident. 
the thing is that